On October 13, 2024, shortly after 9 a.m., Texarkana, Arkansas Police Department re received a 911 call for a large disturbance inside of Riverview Behavioral Health Hospital on Arkansas Boulevard. Dispatch advised responding officers that several juvenile patients had staged a riot and were damaging doors, windows, and walls in an apparent attempt to escape from the facility. Upon arrival, officers heard the juveniles telling one another to attempt to overtake and disarm officers once they entered the facility so they could further arm themselves. We also learned that some Riverview staff were trapped inside an observation island inside one of the interior units. Officers held an interior perimeter and called for juveniles to voluntarily come out from their barricaded positions. Several juveniles complied. However, a group continued to to refuse lawful orders from officers and continue to destroy property and throw items at responding officers. Officers identified two black males, Hispanic male and a Hispanic female as being the primary aggressors and agitators of the group. Along with other assisting agencies, a plan to end the facility was acted upon. Officers deployed oleo resin capsaicin spray through a broken door window at the unruly group of juveniles. One juvenile continued to hurl assaults at the doorway, preventing officers from safely entering. An officer from another state, from another agency, deployed a single shot from a less lethal device on this subject, allowing officers to push into the unit and secure the riding juveniles and free the trapped faculty inside. All juveniles were taken to a staging area until the remainder of the facility could be cleared. At that time, police worked with Riverview staff to take a full count of all patients and ensure that none were missing. LifeNet EMS also responded to evaluate the detained juveniles. Contact was made with the Miller County Prosecutor's Office and Juvenile Court System, and they were advised of the situation. Working with their guidance, the four primary aggressors were arrested for a felony inciting a riot. Housing was secured at, the juvenile, at a juvenile detention facility in Arkansas for th the three male juveniles. Due to limited space for female juveniles, the female subject was released on a felony juvenile citation at the direction of the prosecutor's office with a later court date. The police department is committed to the security and safety of all juveniles and citizens within our jurisdiction. We plan to work with Riverview staff and their regulating state agency to develop a greater understanding of what occurred and how we can prevent this from occurring again. Uh, in addition to this, we'd also like to thank all the agencies that did come out to assist us. Uh, Arkansas State Police, Bowie County, Falk Police Department, Hooks Police Department, Miller County Sheriff's Office, Nash Police Department, Texas Department of Public Service, New Boston Police Department, Texarkana, Texas Police Department, and Wake Village Police Department. 